Hi guys, this week I'm going to do a smoky eye look using the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette in Storm and I've cleansed and moisturised my face and I'm going to go straight in with primer. I'm using MAC Prep and Prime, not everyone uses primer, it's not a essential step, it's personal preference whether you do or not. Once I have rubbed in all of my primer, I am then going to go straight in with my usual foundation which for me is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW20 and I'm using a buffing brush to buff this onto my skin. Sometimes foundation can just sit on top of the skin and I really want this to be buffed in and look natural and have no harsh lines so I do really take my time to make sure that's completely buffed out. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer, this is MAC concealer in NW20. I am just going to conceal my eyelids because I'm going to use it as a primer today. You can get specific eye primers but I find this works absolutely fine for me and saves me having an additional product. And then I'm actually going to come back and conceal the rest of my face as needed later on. I use a makeup sponge to make sure that this is blended correctly and then I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow and the first colour I'm going to use is Calm Before the Storm. This is a real matte brown colour, it doesn't look it on the video but it's a real dark colour like a bronzer almost and I'm using this in the crease of my eye and this just adds some definition. I'm making sure I blend it out so there's no harsh lines and then I'm going to go in with Snowstorm which this is a real shimmery light colour that I'm going to use on the whole of my eyelid. And I'm going to blend that out again because I want the two colours to be blended and have no harsh lines and not look like they're sat next to each other. It's really important to make sure that it's blended so I blend, blend, blend all the time. It's the one thing that I'll just continually keep saying. And then I'm going to go in with my dark colour which is Storm Cloud and it's a real shimmery green colour. This isn't a colour I normally use but I've really had to play around with it and I absolutely love it. I'm using this on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to use the blending brush and I'm going to blend it forward and pull it forward across the eyelid to get rid of any harsh lines again because this is a really dark colour and it can leave a really harsh line if you don't blend it out correctly. I'm going to go back in with that crease colour, Calm Before the Storm and make sure everything is completely blended. I'm going to use a white eye core pencil in my waterline because I want to really open up the eyes because it's quite a dark eye look. And then I'm going to use a black eyeliner pen from MAC to do winged eyeliner. Everyone does their winged eyeliner differently. I follow the bottom lash line and continue it up. It's not caught it very well on the camera, I'm so sorry about that. And then I join from the top lash line, I go straight across to join that line and then I fill that, that wing in. I will do another video which is better with the eyes, I'm so sorry that you can't really see it that well. I'm then going to curl my eyelashes because I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm going to use Ilo 101 lashes because I really want to open up my eye and that's why I've done the, the white eyeliner, I really want to open up the eye because it's quite a dark eye look but not everyone needs to use eyelashes. Once I've applied my false lashes I'm then going to go on to my eyebrows and I'm going to start by using a brow comb and just combing through them. Again I'm so sorry that this isn't caught this part of the tutorial very well but I'm basically using Lingering, it's an eyebrow pencil from MAC and I am just lining the bottom of my eyebrow and just filling in any gaps. And then I'm going to go in with an eyebrow gel which is in a brown colour and that's just going to add to the fullness and just set the eyebrows. I don't really want these eyebrows to be really dark and bold, some looks do call for that but because this is all about the smoky eye, I don't want to detract away from that too much so I'm just doing kind of a light look. And now I'm going to go in and conceal the rest of my face, so I'm going to go and do under my eyes and all my problem areas but I'm also going to 
conceal around that wing eyeliner just to make that line really crisp and then I'm going to go and conceal around the eyebrow for the same reason. That really then makes them stand out and it makes the lines look really, really defined. And because this concealer that I'm using from MAC is a real full coverage concealer, it's fantastic if you've got problem areas or red areas that you want to cover up, but it can mean that it looks like it's just sat on top of the face and sat almost on top of the foundation. So it's really important to blend this. I'm using a makeup sponge, but you can use your fingers or a brush, whatever works for you. I just find that this just blends it in quite well and it just stops it from looking like you've got two different colours on your face. It really does help blend that in. Once I've gone in and I'm happy with the concealer, I'm happy with the coverage and I'm happy with how it's been blended, I am going to set this with my powder which is Mineralize by MAC and it's Light Plus. And I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush because it's a real cute small brush that gets right underneath the eye and kind of around the eyebrow and everywhere where I've just used concealer. And I'm going to go and set all the areas I've used the concealer because that's going to make it last longer and it's just going to really finish off the look. Now I'm going to go with my bronzer, this is MAC Mineralize in Dark and I'm just going to apply this across the cheekbone I'm going to apply it on my chin and I'm going to apply it on my forehead and I'm going to apply it down my neck any areas where you would naturally catch the sun this just adds some colour back to the face because we've kind of stripped all of that back with the foundation and the concealer and we just need to add a bit more colour in. I'm quite pale, so bronzer is really important for me, but not everybody needs to use bronzer, but I find that it just gives my face a bit more definition. Once I've done the bronzer, I'm then gonna use a second bronzer to contour. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna bronzer, and I'm gonna use that with a contour brush by MAC. And I'm just then going to go across the areas where you want to add a, a bit of extra definition. Not everyone uses two bronzers, some people use the same bronzer for contouring and that's absolutely fine. But I'm going to use this just underneath where I just originally put the bronzer on my cheeks. And that's just going to add a bit of a shadow and just add a bit more depth and definition to my face. Not everyone contours, it's not a necessity, but I find that it works really well for me. I'm going to go across my jawline as well and just across the edges of my face where the forehead meets the temple. Now because I'm using two powders and powder can sometimes sit on top of the face and this is why a lot of people will contour with kind of cream contours. I tend to then go over everywhere that I've just used the powder with a buffing brush. It's a MAC buffing brush, it's a real small brush. And what I do is I just then go over those areas and just make sure that there's no excess powder that's just sitting on the face, that it's completely blended in and there's no harsh lines. Because sometimes when you're contouring you are creating kind of an edge and a line, but you don't want it to be really harsh and kind of false, you want it to look natural. So I'm just buffing all of those areas and just making sure that that's looking natural, there's no harsh lines, and it's just all blended. Now that I've added the depth with darkening, I'm now going to add some highlighter. This is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's a fantastic highlighter. I'm using the same brush that I just used for the contouring and I'm just using it on the tops of my cheeks, kind of above where I put all of the bronzer. That's just gonna give me some more highlight and just kind of add some more depth. I'm gonna go in now and do my eyelashes with my mascara. I'm just kind of bouncing it on the underneath, I don't really want to get it on the false lashes. And then I'm going to add some lip colour 
and this is Beauty by MAC. And then we're done, the finished look is done and that is everything. If you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them from the comments. If you want to follow me on any social media all my links are in the description box and I'd love it if you liked this video if you gave it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe so you never miss another video it's completely free and it makes me really happy. If you've got any suggestions for any other videos that you want to see or any other makeup you want me to show you then I'd be more than happy to find out about that so just let me know and I will see you next week for another video. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye!